Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add an extra uh, Powerline uh, internet adapter to an existing TP-Link AV1000 network that you've already got in your home or I guess office space. Um, these are Powerline adapters, really good where if your route, where your router is you can't get good uh, Wi-Fi or you can't um, run a LAN cable because LAN cables are always the best option to over to where your computers or your gaming consoles are or anything like that. Um, generally the situation with this is probably where you've bought one of these adapter sets and you've got them set up and you think, ah, that actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. I want to add some more of these around the house. So you buy another pair because um, you can just buy another starter kit because with the AV1000, the uh, the TLPA7010 kit, they're, they're, they're all the same, all the units, and they, they just pair up. Um, so now you're going to have to bear with me on this because where I've got this set up is a little bit messy. This is in the spare in the gaming room here. So downstairs, I've got the uh, other one of these adapters that you can see in the corner there, plugged into the wall next to the router. And the internet comes through into the router and then uh, goes into the power line adapter into the socket, comes up to here, and then this then feeds into this router here which I'm really just using as a switch and that powers my PlayStation 4 and my Xbox One. But let's imagine we wanted to add another power line adapter, e.g. one of these, um, to, to the system, um, normally in a different room, but for the sake of this video I'm just going to add it down here. Now for best performance you shouldn't really plug these adapters into extension leads like I've got here and for fire safety you shouldn't really have this many plugs plugged into an extension lead but I don't have them all on at once so that's a good thing and probably not near all these boxes but I haven't got round to sorting out all these boxes yet so without further ado let's plug this one into here so that plugged into there now you may think well don't you have to go and press the button on the um, one that's downstairs by the router no you don't that's how easy this is to do all you've got to do is press the pair button for one second one banana two banana see that lights flashing then it's gonna be a bit difficult to see but I do the same over here on this one one banana two banana and that one let's see if we can get it flashing one banana, two banana, three banana. Oh right, uh, have they paired up? Right, that's it. I think they've paired up already. Yeah, that one's got three lights on. That one's got two lights on. So what I can now do is take this cable, the LAN cable, bring it over here, plug it into my laptop if I can remember which way it goes, give it a shove, I'll come over here, then maybe, 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 maybe with a bit of luck, if we click on here, we've got identifying, it's connected. Uh, unidentified network. Okay, well, let's disconnect from the Wi Fi. And that's now come over here and go to, I don't know, www.metallica.com just to test the internet connection. Bang! Uh, yes, hello, Metallica. Right, cool. So, as you can see, we're now on a wired network using that system. So, how cool and how easy is that to do? Really, really easy. There we go. So, that's the how to add an extra power line adapter to a network that includes the TP-Link AV1000 gigabit power line adapters. If you've got any questions or comments, put them down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.